Today on Valentine's Day, U.S. Customs and Border Protections officers inspect items arriving at Arizona ports of entry, primarily flowers. Crockett News reporter Reina Preciado explains why flowers might represent a danger. I think each flower is unique and special in its own origin. Cheryl Denham, owner of Arizona Family Florist in Phoenix, is excited for the appreciation of flowers that surrounds Valentine's Day. Her team prepares roses and bouquets for the high demand. We get 70% of our flowers in from South America. The other 30% comes domestically out of California. These flowers have to be carefully examined before entering the United States. Edith Serrano is a CBP programs manager in Tucson. She says officers have been taking their time in checking the flowers. They try to prevent um, insects from entering and destroying um, the crops here in the U.S. because it's, it's very costly to try to treat that stuff. Denham says keeping insects out is crucial for her business. That could potentially put all the other flowers that we have currently in house at risk because then it could spread into other varieties and therefore then we would lose all of our inventory. According to CBP, of the 58 countries that import flowers to the United States, Colombia tops the list at more than 738 million. CBP agriculture specialists say they've inspected more than 1.1 billion flowers so far this year. Now, local flower shops like Arizona Florists say that the results have proven to be successful so far. We've never had that happen here for, um, for us, thank goodness. Denim is referring to the delays that could potentially prevent orders from arriving on time due to finding insects in the shipments. She appreciates not having to face such issues. I think flowers just in general, um, it's extremely important that they do go through that customs regulation. In Phoenix, Reina Preciado, Cronkite News. It is not illegal to import flowers from other countries, but certain flowers and plant materials found in floral arrangements are restricted because they may carry plant pests and diseases that can damage the U.S. agriculture.